Today, we will be looking at an example of a CI-CD pipeline created using the LDRA tool suite and GitLab. The LDRA tools offer many beneficial features for integrating into a CI-CD pipeline workflow. For one, tools can be highly driven from the command line. This allows for adoption into the required workflow, use within parallel execution, or as a mechanism for speed enhancement. In addition to the robust reporting traditionally provided by LDRA, an API to analysis results is also available. This allows for conversion of data into other formats or the creation of custom pipeline quality gates within your pipeline. LDRA configuration files, including those for providing static analysis exclusions or code coverage justifications, are text-based files. These can easily be included in your project's version control for review and management. They can also be incorporated into the CI-CD pipeline analysis for consistent application across a development team. Lastly, LDRA Vault provides a centralized server environment that can be utilized for the capture of artifacts across multiple users or pipeline runs. We will start by looking at our GitLab project. This project is designed to implement a set of safe utility functions in the instance where standard libraries are not to be used. At a high level, make is being used to perform the build. The sample source code and headers are included in the project as well. The project also includes LDRA configuration data such as files for defining quality metric analysis, coverage justifications, and coding standards exclusions. Several LDRA TCFs are also saved. These define TB run unit test sequences that are used to prove code functionality and generate structural coverage results. Having a look now at our GitLab CI-CD settings, we can see a single runner configured with the LDRA tools installed. This runner will be used for execution of our pipeline tasks. The pipeline configuration is defined in a GitLab YML file. Several stages are defined. Python scripts are used in each stage to call LDRA's command line utilities and perform other functions, although you could directly make those same calls if you prefer. First, our project is built during the build stage. Using TB build import here will allow us to capture the file information necessary for later LDRA analysis. This enables us to quickly identify files, headers, and macro information, even as the project is being developed and changing. Next, we'll perform static analysis of the source code, applying a coding standard and calculation of quality metrics. At the completion of this stage, an XML file is generated using the results API and uploaded as an artifact to GitLab. Additionally, results are uploaded to LDRA Vault for viewing. Unit testing, regression, is then performed against the code using the TCF saved to the project. Once again, results are saved to XML and published to LDRA Vault. Real-world CI-CD configurations may differ from this. Most likely there will be many runners available or different expected workflows. The flexibility of the LDRA tools and use through the command line provides near limitless possibilities for configuration. Navigating to LDRA Vault and the corresponding project and component, we can view the current state of our project. There are three source files, no violations against our coding standard, and testing has achieved 100% structural code coverage. I have been assigned the task of adding some additional functionality to the project. We will begin the process by creating a new development branch to work in. This task requires changes to be made to the project, including adding several new files, modifications to the main file, and updates to the make file. These changes can then be committed into the development branch. Back in GitLab, committing the source code has automatically kicked off a run of the pipeline. We can view each stage as they run. The build import stage has already completed successfully. The static analysis job is indicating a warning. By clicking the job and viewing the log, we will see that there are five static analysis violations that have been found. As it completes, we can see that the unit test job also indicates a warning. We could similarly look at the job output to see what is triggering that warning, or we can go to LDRA Vault and see what has been uploaded there. In LDRA Vault, a new project for the development branch has been created. We can open this project and see the results indicating five static analysis violations, as well as a lack of test cases and structural coverage for our newly created code. We can now use the LDRA tools to remediate these issues. From TB Vision, we can access the coding standards violations. The code can then be modified to remove these issues. Alternatively, 
we can use tbexclude to mark these violations as known and accepted. This will be tracked in the exclusions INI file and also recorded in the LDRA reports and LDRA vault. In TB run, we can create unit tests for the code manually by providing input and expected output values. We could also use TB extreme or TB extreme plus to perform automated test case generation over a range of different configurations. The effectiveness of these tests can then be measured using structural code coverage. These changes are reflected in updates to the source code, exclusion INI files, and additional unit test TCF files. We can then check these modifications into our development branch. As we saw before, this will automatically run our pipeline. This time, however, each stage will indicate pass. By refreshing our view in LDRA Vault, we will see the violations have been remedied and the testing has achieved our structural coverage goals. Project trend data can be used to demonstrate changes to the project over time. HTML reports are also available for review, including those for each upload. For example, the detailed reporting of structural code coverage analysis performed during testing. And now, having achieved our goals, the development task can be raised for further review or merged into the main development branch. Thank you for your time. If you would like any more information on any of the LDRA offerings mentioned in this video, please reach out through any of the available channels.